Oh my goodness, look at that glue. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening. A very quick update. I've been experiencing some technical difficulties regarding video making and uploading them. Right now, I'm continuing with my old method, which was using the Facebook live video feature. Obviously, I'm recording it on private so I can save it and upload it anyway. That was completely unnecessary information. What is going on in the USA, you guys? What's happening with this election? What a fiasco, what a drama. And I can't help but think, this is very similar to what took place in Egypt. Do you remember the Arab Spring and what took place with the Muslim Brotherhood? Now, there's a very, very important book that we need to purchase and read and understand what took place there in detail. If you watch the channel that I I mentioned recently called Radical Truth, Tony Gurley, very recently, this past week, he's been talking about a lady who wrote a book and as an American, she was living in Egypt during this Islamic takeover that was happening in Egypt. And I can't help think this is as very similar what's taking place here in the USA right now with this Biden thing. Now, I know Trump is going to pursue legal proceedings regarding the election. I'm just thinking the whole thing is a sham. Can you believe this is happening in the USA, you guys? What a joke. And yet we are promoting democracy, free and fair elections across the Middle East. What a joke. What a, what a drama. Now, I have so many things I want to share with you. I've been looking into what's happening lately with the world situation, political sides, Turkey, France, Austria. What's happening between Azerbaijan and Armenia? Now, I know there has been a truce and there has been some sort of agreement between Russia, Azerbaijan and Armenia, but I don't trust it. There's a lot more going on. Now, South Africa is having its complete takeover by ISIS, you guys. It, ISIS hasn't just disappeared. It's gaining strength and momentum and the beheadings that they have been doing in that region, friends, it should terrify the Christians in that region. I pray that they re remain resolved in their faith in Jesus Christ. This is the beginning stage of the Antichrist Beast Kingdom, which I've been talking about mostly on my channel, just to warn and prepare the church. Because we see these radical elements within the Muslim community growing in Europe and in the West, and that poses a problem, a big problem. Now, should Biden be the president for the next four years, I expect to see a growing uh, Marxist, socialist, Islamist alignment in our nation here in the USA. Many people are concerned, and I don't think it's going to go really well in the USA, you guys. Difficult times are coming here, and I urge Christians to remain calm, peaceful, respectful with authorities, you guys. Civil unrest, probably that we have never seen before, is coming here. Now, you've already seen pockets of unrest taking place across America right now. There are protests, there's dissent. Let's just pray that we don't completely fall into utter dissent and chaos in this nation. We have to remember what the Word of God says. In fact, let me read to you quickly from the Scriptures. Oh, Lord. There's coming a time when His kingdom is coming to reign on earth. And this is what, friends, the, the, the kingdoms of darkness and light are at war. Big time. And we're seeing it manifest out in the open, clearly. Now, I pray that President Trump, remember, he promised that he would drain the swamp. Now, I don't know to what extent he was able to do that. Only the insiders will know for sure. This child sex trafficking, this cult, this satanic ritual abuse, this ring of evil that so many leaders in our world today are involved in, you guys. I don't trust no leader, nobody, no one. Let me remind us, however, you can see people making fun 
of what's going on right now, right? Making a mockery of the situation because Trump wants to pursue legal proceedings. They're making fun of it, right? I've been watching the news reports. I've been looking at all the different angles, the different takes, the people's perspective on what's been taking place, you guys. It's a sham. This is unheard of. The word of God. Romans chapter 13 says, regardless of how you and I feel about this, we have to remain grounded in the word. It's so important for us right now, friends, to remember who we are, what kingdom we belong to. We are not from this world. We don't behave like the world behaves. Please. Chapter 13, Romans says, Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. And I know, right now, is corruption going on in our nation, you guys. They're fiddling with the votes. They messed things up, you guys. Something is not right. Muslim Brotherhood agenda. Remember, they had 100 years to plan to take over the West. Why? For the Khilafah. When I said in my previous videos regarding, if you would consider, as an example, the outfit, the way they are set up, the Muslim Brotherhood, as though it is the Antichrist Beast Kingdom. Why do I say that? Because it's very political, ideological, military. Spiritual. Islam, of course, right? Now... It would not surprise me if they are completely on the ball with their plan. Remember, they have five phase plan to take over. Lloyd Dijon done a remarkable series. I have to remember to put these links in the description. Please, friends, check my description boxes in my videos because I have lots of links in them for further information. He did a remarkable um, expose on the Muslim Brotherhood. The financial aspect, how they infiltrate governments and what their five phase plan consists of. And I believe he said they're in their uh, phase four to phase five. 100 year plan, you guys. Am I saying that Muslim Brotherhood are behind this, what's happening right now? Yeah, I am. They're using this dissent for their advantage. Do you remember, not long ago, all the statues have been removed in our nation? It's exactly what happened in Egypt. In fact, when you look across the Arab Spring, watch the behaviour, watch what took place. Let's continue. Verse 1. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God. And those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good and you will have praise from the same. Now, you can read the whole chapter in its context, friends. But let me read this bit for the very end of Romans chapter 13 let me read to you from verse 11 and do this knowing the time that now it is high time to wake up out of sleep for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed the night is far spent the day is at hand therefore let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light and I just spoke about this about be mindful of wearing the armor of God because I myself have recently experienced some intense spiritual attacks, you guys. Verse 13, let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. The days are getting dark. And remember what the Word of God says in 2 Timothy. Read that scripture, please, friends. 2 Timothy chapter 1, 2 Timothy chapter 3. I'm going to continue and attempt to re-record the message that I did 
several times this week I was having lots of problems with it I'm going to do it again please look out for it I'm going to have it posted God willing by this weekend stay vigilant friends stay grounded in the word of God don't trust anybody but we have to respect authority okay you guys remember the Antichrist beast kingdom is going to comprise of ten nations ten leaders from the old seven mountains seven heads seven kingdoms according to Revelation chapter 17 I've spoken about this at length please check my previous messages I'll be back again soon please share this share this with your friends share this with your church your believer friends and I'll be back again soon the Lord Jesus Christ is our king one more scripture comes to mind Isaiah a scripture that we usually hear I'm sorry about the glare it keeps coming and going that we usually hear this during Christmas Isaiah chapter 9 let us be reminded of this verse 6 for unto us the child is born unto us a son is given hear this and the government will be upon his shoulder and his name will be called wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father prince of peace of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end and upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this we have to read scriptures like this you guys proclaim the word of God by faith and not proclaim words of death and destruction not chaos not strife the word of God his kingdom is coming friends the days are going to get darker let's get grounded in the word now the word of God is a sword, you guys. The sword of the spirit, the word of God. Sharper than any two-edged sword. It's an offensive weapon. A sword, think about it. A sword is an offensive weapon. But our warfare is spiritual. It's not carnal. It's more powerful than the carnal. I wanted to leave that with you. Now I can say goodbye and I'll speak to you again soon. Jesus Christ is Lord. To him be all the glory, all the honour, all the praise. To his majesty. Amen.